It's about time. Miss! Miss! Mrs. Johnson! What? Mrs. Johnson! It's you! Then it was all just a dream! What are you saying, young lady? Who is Mrs. Johnson? You're not Mrs. Johnson? Of course not. I never heard of a Mrs. Johnson. Then who are you? I'm Miss Collins, Miss Abigail Collins. No, it can't be true. I must be dreaming. I can assure you, you're not. How did I get to this room? You fainted and you were brought here. This dress? Why am I wearing this dress? It belongs to one of the servants. The clothing you were wearing when you arrived was shockingly immodest, to say the least. I don't understand any of this. I find you difficult to understand. Increasingly so, the more I talk to you. May I ask you a question? It may sound a bit strange. What is it? What year is this? You don't know? I'm not sure. Well, you are an odd girl. It's 1795, of course. This can't be happening to me. I've answered enough questions. It's time for you to answer questions, and you better provide the right answers. What is it that you want to know? Who are you? I'm Vicky Winters. Vicky? It's short for Victoria. Victoria, that's better. What are you doing here, Victoria? I... You can't answer me. Why? Because I'm not sure. Why did you pretend to be Sarah's new governess? I didn't pretend to be anyone. Sarah mistook me for her governess. But you didn't deny it. I was confused. I was asked if I was a governess, and I said yes. Your answers are not very satisfactory. Who's there? Burke! You're alive! You're alive! I'm afraid I... You're not, Burke. Of course you... You couldn't be. I'm sorry. Oh, don't be sorry. I'm not. I must resemble someone you know. Is that it? Yes. Obviously, it's someone you care about. They told me that he's dead. But I know he isn't. And when I saw you, I thought he'd come back to me. I thought he'd come back. Don't cry. I can't help it. I understand. But here, take my handkerchief. Dry your eyes. Thank you. You're very kind. I'm sorry I behaved like that. Stop saying you're sorry. I'm the one who's sorry. For not being the man you thought I was. Who are you? Jeremiah Collins. Yes, of course. Why do you say that? Oh, because Mrs. Collins mentioned your name, that's all. You must be the girl who came to the house this afternoon. Yes, I'm Victoria Winters. Everyone at the house is very mystified about you. I know. Where do you come from? I can't tell you that. Why not? Because you wouldn't believe me any more than any of the others have. Oh, but you're not the original governess. The one who was coming to look after Sarah. No, she's missing. But somehow you arrived in her place. Somehow. Sarah's already taken a great liking to you, as, as my sister-in-law has. Well, there are others in that house that haven't. What do you mean? 
Miss Collins, she, she accused me of being a witch. Abigail? Yes, she locked me in my room. She said I'm, I'm, I'm possessed by the devil and, and, and that she has to do something about it, deal with me. <laughs> yes, that sounds like Abigail. She's obsessed by the subject of, of witches. And she gets worse as she gets older, but nobody listens to her except Joshua, and I don't know why he does. Well, she did lock me in my room, and, and she took my clothes away to burn them. She did that? Yes, and I, I had to crawl out the window, and, and that's when I came here. Swinters? Yes. Why are you staring at me? Was I staring? I'm sorry. Come here. I'm given to understand that you were behaving rather strangely when you arrived. There, there was an accident on the way. The carriage. Yes, you need not bother to explain. My younger brother has already done so. Do you read and write? Of course. Well, it's not a natural assumption. Many people don't these days. What are your other qualifications? I know some history and English literature and mathematics. I know a little bit about music. I play the... The clavichord? Yes. Well, if what you're telling me is true, you're extremely well-educated. Where did you receive your education? I... I was brought up in a foundling home in... in Boston. I learned what I know there. I see. Kindly step over here in the night. Well... You look intelligent. Seem perfectly harmless. Perfectly harmless. Forget I said that. We need a governess, and you are here. I'm willing to give you a chance. Thank you. But you must understand, I'm engaging you only on a trial basis. If at any time and for any reason I decide to discharge you, you must go immediately. I understand. Your wages will be four dollars a month. Four dollars. If that amount is unsatisfactory. No. I can easily get someone else. No, it's fine. Food and lodging will be provided, of course. Your duties will begin tomorrow morning. Be in the nursery at eight. Sarah will be dressed and ready for you. I'll be there. Good. You may go now. You made the right decision, Joshua. You won't regret it. Were you eavesdropping? I was standing on the stairs. I couldn't help overhearing. You were eavesdropping. I have spoken to you about this before, Naomi. So was I. You too? Can't I have a conversation in this house without all the women hiding in corners, listening to every word I say? 